Hello guys, welcome in a new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what are the exercises that, in my opinion, you can actually do in order to get uh, a big back. So, in my opinion, there are just two necessary components in building your back. These are pull-ups and rows, okay? So, the pull-ups will target the lats and the rows will target the rest of the back muscles, okay? so. Let me start by showing how to correctly do a pull-up. Many people, guys, do this. One hand. So, it's fine. Okay, it's fine, yes. It will work the muscle, but if you want to maximize your uh, muscle uh, growth and also maximize your technique in order to actually do clean pull-ups, so to reach a number of, for example, 15, 20 clean pull-ups and as low as well, so focusing on the eccentric part of the movement, what you should do is actually do this. I start here, I go up, slowly go down. When I go down, I look, up, slowly go down. Up, slowly go down. Of course, you can actually go down without locking completely. Maybe sometimes by locking the movement, it is a bit more difficult to go up because you lose the tempo, but it's fine, okay? So be sure when you do this movement to go slow, control the movement and do clean pull-ups. Because yes, you can build muscle even if you do fast pull-ups, but it's not the same as doing normal and clean pull-ups. Next guys is rows. So if you want to work the rest of your back, you should do rows. I would need, I would prefer uh, support for my chest, so I would actually perfect and maximize the form of the movement. But in this case, in this gym, I do not have a support for my chest. So I actually do rows like this. I keep my back in this way. This is the movement. See? Fully go down, up. Fully go down, up. Fully go down, up. Okay, of course, this movement will be a bit hard on this part, on the lower back, because if you do not have any support, it will be uh, harder. But as a result, you will actually work your lower back muscle better because you need them in order to stabilize your whole upper body. So it's actually fine. Just be sure not to hurt yourself while doing this movement. So what are the perfect ranges of reps and sets in order to maximize your muscle gain. What I like to do personally is to do, to hit actually the back twice and to do pull-ups for four sets uh, for each workout and rows the same, four sets for each workout. So a total of eight sets in one workout and other eight sets in the other workout. So a total of 16 sets for the whole week. In my opinion, this is the best uh, case if you are someone who is busy or if you're someone who also does uh, lots of martial arts like me and you can focus on bodybuilding completely because of course if you spar a lot you do lots of anaerobic movement as well it's going to be a bit harder on the body to recover and also to build muscle but if you do lower volume uh, more higher intensity so you take uh, your reps almost or to failure every time and what I do is actually do lower reps. I prefer lower reps. So between five and eight reps, for example, for the pull-ups, for the back. Of course, I'm trying to uh, build my pull-up number higher so that I can actually put weight because I used to do weighted pull-ups, but the form was not the best. Now I'm working on correcting the form so I can actually do pull-ups better and build more muscle. As far as for the rows guys, the same, you do between five and eight reps. So uh, the failure point should be uh, around uh, five to eight reps. And of course, then you decide if you prefer a bit lower, so towards five, six, or a bit higher towards seven, eight. But the point is train these two exercises for the back, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna cover uh, all the back basically. Of course, if you're the goal is only bodybuilding, what you should do is actually uh, do even some rear delts work 
But in my case, or for someone who is very busy, what you should do is these two exercises, any variation of pull-ups and any variation of rows. And I would prefer actually doing pull-ups over pull-downs because it's harder and actually I think you will build a stronger physique if you do pull-ups, okay? So, this is all for today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.